We care about bugs at Southwest Virginia Wildlife Center. Here's some cool facts about them relating to our patients. Red foxes like to catch grasshoppers and crickets. It's like a healthy snack. Carolina chickadees need native plants and insects in order to survive. If an area has less than 70% native plants with native insects on it, Carolina chickadees cannot survive long term. Least weasels are fierce predators that snack on bugs. As one of the smallest carnivores in the world, it's no wonder that they eat bugs. Without insects, wood ducks wouldn't be as beautiful. They need them to go big and strong. Baltimore Orioles eat pest insects like gypsy moths. Blue gray gnat catchers move their tails to scare insects while hunting. When these tiny birds do this, it makes their prey much easier to find. American crows avoid eating insects that are aposematic. Animals that are aposematic are often brightly colored. This serves as a warning sign as these animals are potentially dangerous. It's nature's version of a stop sign. Eastern screech owls eat moths, worms, and more. Due to their smaller size, insects are an important part of their diet. Blue jays love eating acorns, but can't digest them without eating insects. And blue jays aren't the only birds that need insects to help digest their food. Red-bellied woodpeckers use their tongues to get bugs. Woodpeckers have to have very long tongues in order for them to get bugs out of small spaces. Their tongues are so large, in fact, that they actually wrap around their skull. If they get a head injury, they can actually hurt their tongue. Isn't that interesting? Southern flying squirrels need more insects than other kinds of squirrels that we take care of at the center. Although they eat a wide range of things, they also have to eat insects to grow big and strong. American beavers make habitat for bugs. Although beavers don't eat bugs, their dams make habitat for aquatic insects. Eastern whippoorwills only eat flying insects. They catch insects while they fly through the air and open their giant mouth in order to catch bugs. Northern cardinals eat bugs as babies. However, when they're adults, they mostly eat seed. Even baby hawks are fed bugs by their parents. Northern mockingbirds eat insects during the warm months, but during the winter, when insects are scarce, they like eating fruits and other foods. But without insects, northern mockingbirds wouldn't survive in the wild. Brown thrashers move leaves around to find bugs to eat. Because they thrash around looking for insects, that's where they get their name, brown thrasher. Cedar waxwings eat fruit as adults, but are fed insects by their parents. Because cedar waxwings are very social, birds will feed their younger siblings and other adults. Watch here as these baby cedar waxwings feed this younger cedar waxwing mealworms. All of these birds came from different areas in Virginia. The youngest one, who was recovering from a broken leg, was found by a young girl in Blacksburg. Thanks to her, he had a second chance at life and got some new siblings. Thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something about the importance of bugs to wildlife. Without bugs, we wouldn't be able to share the world with all these wonderful creatures. And without your support, the center would not be able to save and return these animals back to the wild where they belong. If you're interested in learning more, feel free to check out our social media and website shown on the screen. I'm Misha. And I'm Haley. And we hope you enjoy the rest of your bug fest.